Good day, this is Musketeer here. I'm going to explain why electric powered cars are a bad idea. You might be thinking, did he just say a bad idea? Yes, I did. Because no matter if you buy this car, this car, or even this car, the energy used to make it move all comes from the same place. Yes, you guessed it, coal, nuclear, and gas power stations. Doesn't matter where the energy came from for now, what matters is the energy transfer. Say you have a piece of coal with a thousand kilojoules of energy and you burn it to convert it to electrical energy. 200 kilojoules is lost through the transfer. You then have to convert the 800 kilojoules of electrical energy into chemical energy in the battery and then convert it into kinetic energy, meaning you might only have 30% of the original 1000 kilojoules left. Now if you have a regular fuel burning car, you only need one energy transfer to get it moving. If you had a thousand kilojoules of petrol in your car and you burn it to convert it to kinetic energy, you'd lose 300 kilojoules, which is only a 30% decrease from the original 1000 kilojoules. These two examples are also not taking into account the energy cost in the logistics of getting coal and oil to where it needs to be, which is most likely quite small compared to the amount of energy gained. Now before anyone complains, those figures are made up because burning coal is only really about 25% efficient at best, but you get the idea. You might be thinking, but green energy sources are becoming more widely used. That is true, and before people start saying nuclear is worse than coal and gas, toxic radioactive waste is no longer dumped anywhere, but disposed of in responsible places. Safety standards have also been increased, so this doesn't happen again. Anyway, back to green energy. Although there has been a significant rise in the use of green or renewable energy, the majority of energy being produced is still from coal and gas power stations. For example, in 2009, 68.3% of all power produced in the US was from coal and gas power stations. So what's my point? The point is that because we would lose more energy through energy transfers if we had electric cars, we'd have to reduce more energy in power stations to keep them all moving, meaning we'd burn more coal and gas and release more CO2 into the atmosphere, making your no congestion charge CO2 free vehicle actually most likely worse for the environment than regular petrol cars. So basically what I'm trying to say is this. The only way electric cars would be a viable solution to this energy crisis and the global warming issue is if the majority of energy was produced from less harmful sources such as nuclear or renewable energy. Good day.